Throughout the course, we've integrated the use of Genexus Server as an important component of our work methodology. Genexus Server has been designed to facilitate teamwork. It allows centralizing business knowledge and keeping the development team members work constantly integrated, even when they're in different geographical locations. Having a central KB managed by Genexus Server allows any authorized developer to send and receive modifications from their own workplace. Already at the beginning of the course, when creating the first transactions, the KB was sent to Genexus Server. In this way, the administration of the KB is centralized in the server, and the developers remain synchronized with it, even though they will always work locally. Let's remember the necessary steps to do so. First, select the File option from the Genexus IDE, and we'll select the option Send Knowledge Base to Genexus Server. Next, enter the server location URL, the name to publish the KB on the server. And then the Genexus account for authentication. Finally, we click on Send. From this moment, the KB is published on the server, and the developer remains synchronized with it. It should be noted that when a KB is synchronized with the server, under the Knowledge Manager menu, you can find the Team Development option containing the dialog box with the options to work on the server. After that, we've continued to advance in the course, integrating new concepts, defining new objects, and at the end of each video, we've sent those updates to the KB on the server to be integrated into the final solution. For this, from the commit option of the team development box, it's possible to see all the objects that are included in the local KB and have not been updated in the server. We can send all of them, or only select those that are finished and ready to be integrated into that KB. We must also enter a comment, which will later be part of the action log in the KB on the server, and press the commit button. Now let's suppose another developer wants to join the team. As a new developer, how can you synchronize with the KB already published on the server? You must receive a local copy. And for that, you need to go to the File menu and select New Knowledge Base from Genexus Server. Next, enter the server location URL or select this button to choose the server. Indicate the KB to synchronize with and click on Select. And from here, you can indicate the name under which you want to receive that local copy. Once this process is complete, the new developers will have a local copy of the KB that's published on the server and will also remain synchronized with it. At this point, each developer continues to work locally and they must make their changes public, but also take into account the changes made by the other developers. To do this, from the Knowledge Manager menu, they should select the Team Development option and then choose the Update action. This action will allow viewing and integrating locally all those new definitions included in the KB on the server. To learn more about Genexus Server, visit the link on the screen.